Hey guys and welcome to this video. So in this video we want to download Dev C++. So what we're going to do is we're going to first go to google.com and then we're going to type in Dev C++ and it's going to be this very first link here where it says Dev C++ download sourceforge.net. So we're going to go here. We're going to click on this download button here. You can see that this is the recent um, update of Dev C++. It's uh, updated November 29, 2016, and it's version 5.11. So we're going to go ahead and download that. Like it's going to take a few seconds and it should start downloading uh, down below here. And now it says it's going to take about oh, 14, 15 seconds. So what I'm probably going to do is cut this video or at least pause it while it's downloading and then get right back to it. Uh, when it's done, actually, it looks like it's going to be done in a few seconds, so I probably won't do that. Let's go ahead and run this. That was fairly fast. So I'm going to go ahead and run that file. So now it says, please wait while setup is loading. Okay, perfect. So here it is. And I'm just going to switch that there. Okay. So I just want to show you guys that it wasn't the page, but this right here is actually the program down here, Dev C++. So please select the language. I'm going to choose English. Um, okay, make sure you read all the license agreement and then click I agree if you do. Uh, here we can select the icon files, uh, shortcuts that we want, language files. Basically, I would just keep all this the same and just click next. And then choose the, def the destination that you want to install the program. I'm going to install it in my program files x86. So I'm just going to keep it just like that. So I'm going to click install. So now everything is installing and being um, unpacked. And all right, we can move on. So now it says Dev C++ 5.11 has been installed on your computer. Click finish to close this wizard. And then we're going to keep this checked so it can go ahead and run the program. All right, so I see the icon popped up here below. Going to click it. So now it's going to ask us to set up some things. So what type of language do we prefer? Uh, English, so I keep it just like it is. Um, the colors, uh, classic plus looks fine to me. So I'm going to keep it that way. Maybe maybe Twilight, but uh, Classic Plus looks pretty good. Click Next. Uh, click OK. And now here we go. We have our IDE launched. And we can finally begin programming. So thank you guys, and I hope this was uh, very helpful. And I'll see you guys in the next video.